It's nicknamed the River of Law because of its history of legal battles over its water flow. The freshwater workhorse of the West, the Colorado River, is drought-stricken and overused. Facing the threat that the federal government would impose unilateral cuts, three states, Arizona, California, and Nevada, have agreed to lower total water use by 13 percent for the next three years. In exchange, they'll receive $1.2 billion, namely to compensate farmers and communities. There are more rights to consume water than there is water to consume. And that's going to continue to be the case going into the future. And this agreement really is focused on um, a, a crisis management. Stretching over 2,300 kilometers, the Colorado River provides water to some 40 million people across seven states, top among them California. Nearly 80 percent of the 7 trillion liters taken from it every year are for agriculture and especially for livestock feed. And on top of that, its two main reservoirs, Lake Mead and Lake Powell, provide the electricity for millions of homes. Colorado River has been in a state of near continuous drought for the last 23 years, with the two major reservoirs, the two largest in the country, being near what's known as Deadpool, where you can't get any more water out. And before that, you can't get any hydropower. Last summer, amidst fears of the alarming state of the mighty Colorado, the federal government imposed talks. But states were at a deadlock until heavy rains this past winter and threats from Washington paved the way for a compromise. But with overuse and continued drought due to climate change, that breathing room is temporary. States are expected to pick up negotiations next month for a long-term plan.